Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And if they had reverse on these things, I'd be way back there somewhere right now. But the reason I <laughs> for this video is because I want to talk about something and show you what I did to fix something that was making noise when I was pedaling. When I first got the trike, it uh, was silent as could be. And then uh, every once in a while, when I was pedaling, I get a click every time I pedal one, you know, click, click, click. And uh, it would come and go. And so uh, <laughs> I'll show you what I did to try to fix it and what I finally did to fix it. So um, by the way, I don't know what this, this is a hose clamp. I don't know what that's for, but stick around and we'll find out. Okay. All right, I've got my seat, uh, seat post out and the seat sitting here on the back of my trike. And as you can see, if you look carefully, uh, there's four bolts that hold the seat to the post. <clears throat> and I loosen those and tighten them. And by the way, I wanted the seat back, as, or the backrest back as far as it could go. And I, you can only move it about a quarter of an inch. But anyway, so I got it moved back. And then I tightened those all up and uh, went for a ride. And sure enough, it's, it's still, uh, every once in a while would make the click when I would pedal. And so uh, I think I went through that process twice and I could not figure out what was coming loose. And I tight, tightened this and even my son helped me. And so uh, it was just a mystery because everything was tight until I remembered that this is their what they call their cushion. And uh, I, that's a that's that's a moving part, and it's got uh, it's got springs in it. And what it's for is if you hit a big bump, uh, then it absorbs it absorbs the uh, the bump the jolt. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I thought, well, okay, so maybe that's what it is. And in in a previous video, I'll put it at the uh, link to it at the end of the video. And in the descriptions, in a previous video, I told you how to to clean the post off because uh, they oil right. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right there where that goes down in, uh, they they oil that, and then if the oil comes out <clears throat> and runs down uh, on this, when you put this inside the shaft over here right there then it's lubricated and it wants to slide so uh i use some of my son's brake cleaner and i clean that all off and that in that video it shows you uh i mean you, you it i showed you how i went about it but the reason that uh uh the the reason the oil is there is because when they made this uh they had to put some oil right in that spot and uh but they you know, they were a little, little sloppy and it came out here. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I found out that if I put some oil, it, by the way, it took it a while before it started clicking uh, and moving around in there. And I thought maybe it needs more oil. So I, I'll go, I'll show you what I did in order to uh, get that oiled and carefully not get it on the outside of the post because you might want to do the same thing and, and uh, then I'll show you the good results that come from that all right so uh, let's go to a different camera and take a look all right right here that spot right there uh, this this is what they call the uh, cushion and that's for when you hit great big bumps uh, there's a it, down in here there's a like a spring and it's not it's not like <laughs> it's not like a suspension thing it's like a safety thing uh to to uh, let, you know to let you down easy when you hit some kind of a bump and uh, uh and i don't know how efficient it is but as you can see i've got some oil on it and that's when i first got the trike uh remember if you got one like this there was oil on this and that would cause this to slide down into the shaft after you tightened it up and everything well so uh <laughs> so the thing is is you need oil in there for it to work properly and what i did was i put a oil in it 
and then it took it a, a several rides to get broken in and I don't know if you can put too much oil in it but the first time the the first time I did it uh, everything went fine and then when I was doing it I put some more oil in it well some of them dropped down a drop came down into here and of course in my last video if you remember if you watch it near the end as I came around the corner this all slid down and that's because I didn't get that oil cleaned up so now I'm going to show you what I would do if I were you if you want to get that uh, get your money's worth out of that first of all you start with a hand towel a paper towel and wrap it around there just in case you get some oil trying to run down there and then we'll take that off and then we just come around here very carefully and put some oil on there like so and uh, be real careful so it doesn't run down uh, the outside of that shaft and so uh, that's <laughs> I got plenty of oil in it from uh, just doing it a lot but the oil helps it to uh, to give and uh, give and take I guess you'd say uh, and so it, it works better with the oil in there but you have to be careful not to let the oil run down the shaft and you might even want to look at the back of the shaft to see if it's coming down uh, the back and that looks pretty good so anyway uh, so you can do that and now I'll show you what the difference is uh, in our next section here so stay tuned Okay, I'm sitting on the seat <clears throat> after we oiled it, and uh, and it, it takes a while for that to break in and get so you can absorb the bumps, but I'll show you what it does uh, once you get it broken in, get it oiled. See how it absorbs the shock? Now, I only weigh 165 pounds. <laughs> Depends on what my wife fed me the night before. Some, somewhere between 160 and 165. So uh, for a heavier person, that would work really well for bumps. Uh, it does me every once in a while. I'll hit a bump where uh, it, it, it you know, absorbs the bump for me while I'm, while I'm uh, <laughs> riding my, my e-trike. So <clears throat> anyway, so that's one part of this video. Now we're going to go to another part on adjusting the height of the backrest. So uh, let's take a look at that. Okay, this is the backrest uh, on the uh, XP trike. And they've got this knob here that keeps it in place. The only problem is the knob <laughs> doesn't do that well. And so when I first got it, I adjusted it. And then as I was riding, it moved, and I didn't notice it until a couple of rides later. I thought, well, that's not where I had that. And so then I put it back again, and I tighten this until you think it's going to break. And nothing seemed to work. And so I got to thinking, okay, something's got to work. And so what I did was I came up with this idea of putting hose clamps around underneath of the... Underneath of the uh, the adjustment and so and I found I found my sweet spot I got it marked over here uh, where it's just into the small of my back and so I can bring it up here and get it up to right about there okay then uh, we want the uh, you just take the the hose clamp and put it around there and then getting it started is a little bit of a chore but it's not that hard and you can get these at the local hardware store you can get them on amazon uh and i guess that's about the only two places i can think of so we'll go up here with this and there goes somebody by on our street okay and now this this is the back of this is going to want to hit that and so we're going to push that push that out and then got a whole gang going by out there 
and so so we we'll bring that around and I'll use this hand and get it tight and as long as it's up against the the bottom of the the backrest that's good now we have another one that we'll put on <clears throat> and get it started <clears throat> okay and then we got to pull this out a little bit to get it by all right get it up against the seat tighten it up whoops get it nice and tight okay and then it doesn't matter what this is set to because these are going to hold it in place and I've been using it like that now for quite a while and by the way the uh, the hose clamp idea may even help you out down here on the seat post I don't know if you can see it on the video or not but down here on the seat post you can put like a one and a half to two inch hose clamp around there tighten that up and that will uh, assist the built-in the uh, built-in uh, clamp so just put a I don't know if you can see it in the video I hope so anyway put a, a hose clamp around there but it have to be a little bigger than these these are one inch okay and so you get get the the one inch and then the one and a half inch or two inch for down around the seat post so uh, with all the <laughs> all the things going on I guess it's time for me to finish this video up because I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover uh, one of my future videos is going to be real simple it's the difference between a e-trike and an e-bike <laughs> so be waiting for that all right I want to thank you for watching my videos and God bless.